good morning and welcome back to my channel for those of you that are returning and for all the new viewers welcome to my channel this is what i do to get the most of my summer squash every year now this is a bed that i have here and i've had a few different things planted in it and i still do i have a seed potatoes from this bed i have a pepper growing right here in this bed actually a couple peppers i have some beans runner beans growing in here and i do have my squash and as you can see the space in here it was really crowded and now that i have harvested all of the potatoes now i have more room in here and so i decided to plant some more scallop squash it takes 50 days to be ready for harvesting so i do have time before the first frost now i'm going to show you how i handle my squash my summer squash as you can see i have some at the top here but i've gone ahead and cut off all these old spent leaves that has been drawing energy from the plant even this one here that was eaten up by some type of insect i'm going to take that off the plant and see as much as you take it off the plant will keep growing look how long the stem is and you will keep getting food for as long as the plant will produce so that energy now will be redirected to pushing out more flowers and also pushing out more fruits because you have male flowers and you have female flowers so once the energy is directed into growth and does not have to feed all the old leaves that were here, which weren't doing anything, just drawing energy from the plant, it goes directly into flower production and fruit production. So see, I planted, I started back there, that's where I dropped the seed, and look at it now. It's way out here and producing more food. Maybe I should harvest these ones. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these this has given me so much food thus far. Oh yeah, these are really good on the grill. But yeah, if you want maximum production, you have to actually take care of your plant. See, all of them, I've gone ahead and I've cut all the old leaves. And I just throw it right there. It will stay right there and it will rot and give back to the soil. So this is just a quick tip of how you can take care of your summer squash to get the maximum production in your garden. If you've come across this video and you enjoy my content, go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video out. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get alerts for all my newly released uploads. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time right here on Fifi's Journey.